Welcome back to Game of the Goons, where Ellie is trying to guess what Joel's birthday surprise is. I don't know what it's called a litter. Not very successfully, to be honest. It's not a litter, kitten. Okay, okay. Hot air balloon. More walking, less talking. But we're playing Last of Us 2. And it looks like we're in a flashback. Um, so... Joel's here. I'm playing a younger Ellie. Joel has got a birthday gift. But hasn't said what it is. So he's kept it very, very quiet. And he's not given any clues. Mind your step. I got it. Ah! Wow. That's so mean. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. <laughs> what am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. This way. Worst. Your swim is getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got to. the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good way of uh, teaching you how to swim. Take a look at this. Uh, see that deer? See that? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Looks like. <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <laughs> Joel is not phased at all, but how do I get... Yep, there you go. Jump in. You're going to need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. A little swim around. Oh, no. We want to dive underwater, so dive down we go. And I'll be coming. We go see if we can get or follow the path. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. Mm -hmm. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. Get another dive over here. Where are you taking me? Down again we go. We can swim faster. Maybe it's that well, I should be looking under water for any collectibles and stuff, Is but I wasn't. A new pair of sneakers? I mean, probably needed now, but. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. That's a, which one? Just yes. <laughs> Laser discs. I heard that's a thing. Holy shit, Joel! We're here. Oh my god! It is a dinosaur. Yeah, it is. Joel! Surprise! Holy shit! Oh, 
It's a motherfucking dinosaur. I won't climb up it. What are you doing? Uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Wow, that was risky. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. I mean, a little bit left or right, and I would have broken all my bones in my body. <laughs> Wyoming Museum of Science and History. So, the exhibit entrance. What's this? That's a jump to the past. It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. That's cool. What's over here in the gift? Oh, man. You want to try it on? I do not. Hmm. You're lost. <laughs> I'll get you all to wear it before the end of the episode. Guaranteed. So I have little coin machine things. Let's go find a ticket center and see what's here. Not too much to be fair. Let's have a look in here. Not a huge amount to find, to be honest. Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. John, <laughs> it's for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. They've done a good job of showing like, a difference in personalities from... Young Ellie to grown up Ellie. Although I think that humor is still there. Different memberships. Compsognathus. Whew, that's a big name for little guys. Another one of them coin machines. Giants of the past. I'll let you guys read that. That's quite cool. Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. <laughs> Joel's not impressed. I'll still get him to wear it. Guaranteed. Is this going to be a thing? Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> Let's get the hat back. Hey, Joel. Ellie. Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. There you go. I told you I'll get Joel to wear the hat by the end of the <laughs> episode. And what, 10 minutes in? If that? I've managed to do it. I've managed to get Joel to wear that hat. And he's not going to take it off. All collectible there. So nice trading cards. There. On the way into the toilets, take a quick pit stop, then we can continue on with the episode.
Look up. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I think that's just to showcase the mirror, right? <laughs> Nothing else is to showcase the. Uh, how far technology has gone. The Dime Trodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? <laughs> Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. Yeah. I, who names these? Kind of looks like a velociraptor. Well, they're dumb. I don't know if it's true or not, but I assume Dinosaurus they've done their research. Six hundred pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poop. <laughs> that was not where I was going with that, to be honest, but. I guess it makes sense, to be honest. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Wow. Oh, <laughs> good one. Wow. Triceratops. I think that's all in this area. Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Ah, uh, nope. Cool, so then that's that section. Let's have a look at this side and see if anything else to find. Velociraptor. So small. I guess you can't trust the movies. Joel talking about Look how thick this one's skull is. the old Jurassic Park. Kind of looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch yes, do. Oh, I mean, I didn't say it. Maybe when we meet Tommy later, we can uh, <laughs> compare. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I mean, looks like chickens. Davis. Actually, kind of looks like a turkey. Yeah. If you look at it, right. A little bit on their head as well. Turkey's probably our closest thing to a dinosaur then. By the looks of that. Oh, look, there's another hat. I'm picking up. Did Joel take his hat off? He better not taking his hat off. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sarah loved him. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? See, now that hat's not coming back. I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. But he took his hat off. He broke the birthday wish. He can have this hat at some point though. Talking about the extinction of dinosaurs. And then we're into the science bit, I guess. It would be, be more dinosaur bit. I don't know. We're in science now. Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um... We can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? Oh, it's testing Joel here. My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. 
Okay, that's not. I mean, it works. Very famous mother Mars. Oh, okay, I get it. That's not the one I know. So the one I know is um, my very easy method of naming planets. I think it was. Nah, that can't be right. It was like yeah, I can't remember it now. My very. No, I can't remember it. It was something like. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember what it was. It was like my my very easy method. Uh, something, something, something. Name and planet. But I can't remember the last little bit of it. <laughs> Why? Well, if it comes back to me, I'll tell you guys. But I don't think it will. It's literally just gone out of my head. Times we've been to the moon. Twice. Six times. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. <laughs> In the apocalypse, I don't think rockets hey, are. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? Well, Chimpanzee, I guess, monkey. or a dog. Oh, it was fruit flies. Oh, okay. Yeah, in 1947, it was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gum bro, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. Don't want to go that way yet. No, I'll never look around first. <laughs> In the buggy. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Here's the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I don't say no. Well, that is very true. <laughs> so cool. That's the weird thing about museums, actually. In an apocalypse world, you can just uh, like space and dust. Just pick up everything, wear everything. Let's try every single one. Or different spacesuits. Wow, if that's an old spacesuit. That's where we came from. We'll have a look in this little pod. Just <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. Let's put it in the Walkman. Or the tape recorder, sorry. Or tape player. Be 
Probably be a takeoff sequence. I guess that's where Ellie's astronaut thing definitely came from. Any back on Earth? I do okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? I think how tiny them pods must be, they must be so claustrophobic. Where'd the hat go? Put it down, can't pick it back up now. It's there, eh? Through here we go. Deep it into the Wyoming There's Museum. Stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Well, there's only really one way of doing it. Never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here. <laughs> hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. Today I can. Jump. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I could climb up this way, you see, um, because I wanted to see if there's any collectibles that way, but I don't think I can go up that way. So across I go, let's go see Joel. It's probably locked, so I need an alternate way through. Who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Yeah, it's not super safe though. And I hope this isn't the time we have to deal with 14 and infected in one go. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. <laughs> That's very true. I think there's going to be a bunch of infected in here. I don't see it being other, like anything otherwise. I killed for them. It's a bit weird. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. Training card there, though. So this person basically transforms to a dinosaur. It's a neutral villain, but basically make her feel safe and then when they need her to go and destroy stuff, they just turn her into the Hulk, basically. It's like the dinosaur version of the Hulk. Yep. Great. I don't like this. At all. It's dark in here. Don't hear or see anything. Don't like this one bit. Don't know what we're dealing with. I haven't got enough ingredients to get anything. Great, my torch is dying now. I have to shake the batteries. Come out, fucker. This is definitely going to scare me or make me jump lows. He's basically just spelling out his sins. Still not enough for a Molotov. Go in two ways. I think I might go for the back corridor. Just in case. Oh my god, where is he?
Loving green is still not enough to craft. Anything useful? You want to end the suffering? Blah blah blah. Keep it worth it. We disbanded. Nothing to show with us sins. Wow. Here we go. Stupid fake animals. Honestly, made my heart skip a little bit there. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ. Jesus. So many noises. How was it? Wild pig. It's just some animal. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. So now we're back in Seattle at day two. So I guess we're back with Ellie and uh, Dina. There is some radio stack. We'll practice this little song quickly. Thing is, I, I don't play guitar, so I don't know, I couldn't play any. I mean, that's pretty cool because you could probably. You could probably play any song you want, basically, on that, provided you know what chords to play. Dina's not there, so she must be up the stairs. Well, how did I get out last time? you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. This guy, Owen. He went AWOL. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. It's possible. What about her? Nothing yet. So, the numbers are locations. 
The TV station we were at? That's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. Last night was stupid. Casualties reported at 14. All available units report. Over. This is site 13. Unit Lima nearby. How many scars you got? Over. Negative on scars. Lone male trespasser. R. Lone male trespasser? Tommy. That'll be Tommy. So Tommy's in 14. Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, I can guess. Uh, if this is seven, twelve's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. We'll crest. Okay. That's it, so it looks like. Ellie, yeah. Dina. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> hey. We're off to go find Tommy. I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Oh no, Ellie's off on her own. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. Dina's going to track him from here. And he's on our way out to go find me and bring him back. Via Hillcrest. Hillcrest. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. Yep. Shit. Must be near Tommy. There's gunshots over at the Rustin Coffee over there. I think it's a good place to leave an episode here. So remember to leave a like, um, subscribe if you are not subscribed. If you are subscribed, click the bell button to get out of our upcoming videos. And stay up to date on our Facebook and Twitter pages for more information in the gaming world and about our channel. And I'll see you next time as we explore Hillcrest. See you soon.